Hi, my name is John Gaspar from AFI. Today we're going to learn about taking latent fingerprints off of a, an opaque or non-porous surface, typically a piece of glass, which is a common place in which fingerprints are deposited. Fingerprints are, are basically the excretion of salts or lipids, that's fats or chlorides, onto a surface area that comes from your skin and your sweat pores, and it leaves a signature. Now we're going to take some of the fingerprint powder out, and you see it can get messy, but that's okay. All right. Uh, and when you do, you're taking it out so that when you dab your fingerprint duster onto the area, that you're taking fingerprint powder from an uncontaminated area. And when you're returning it, you're taking it into the same source. So you dab lightly to get some of the fingerprint powder on. You shake the excess off. And then there's different patterns of performing fingerprint analysis. The first one is called painting. You move back and forth like you would do with a paintbrush. And you can see some of the fingerprints actually starting to develop now on the glass surface. The other one is swirling. Swirling is around in a circle. But you need to get more fingerprint powder, shake off the excess, and you swirl in a circle. And as you swirl in a circle, you see that more of the black fingerprint powder is being deposited on the lipids or the fats from your sweat and your secretions. Another way is dabbing. And dabbing leaves a little bit more powder on the surface, but you can take that off with a gentle brush stroke of painting. And then last is what you see on CSI all the time, and that's the twirling. And this is also an effective method for enhancing latent fingerprints. Latent just means less than visible. It doesn't mean invisible, it means less than visible. And before we could see very little on the surface area of fingerprints, and now we see all the fingerprints that have been developed. I hold my brush about a sixteenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch away from the surface, and I fan to get the excess fingerprint dust off so that it's clear of the sea. And I will tilt this up so that you can see better. These are the fingerprints that were developed from those four basic strokes. Now once again for review, dabbing, painting, swirling, and twirling. Dabbing gives you the most on the surface area. Painting covers the larger area. Swirling brings around the substance in the circle, and twirling deposits it directly on. At no time do I really want the brush pressing down hard on the fingerprint, because I don't want to destroy uh, any of the clear ridge development. And once again, I will lift this up to show you, and you will see that the fingerprints that were deposited offer what they call clear ridge development. Clear ridge development means the fingerprints that you can see definition on. Thank you very much. This is John Gaspar, and please use this in your criminal justice careers or use it to help yourself out in the field if you're a law enforcement officer. Thank you and have a good day.